The screenwriter of the new Harriet Tubman biopic said that when he first pitched the movie in the 90s, a studio executive suggested that Julia Roberts play Harriet Tubman. I know, worse, it was gonna be called Runaway Bride 2. I'd watch that. I don't know, I'm worried about this one now. An auction of Nazi memorabilia was held, which featured items such as Hitler's top hat and Ava Braun's dress. And it's tough to auction off Nazi memorabilia because everyone always looks like they're bidding. Thank you. Some applause. Wow. I liked it. Yeah. Liked Pete it. Buttigieg's campaign has released a viral dance video set to Panic at the Disco's High Hopes. <laughs> It, it's all part of Mayor Pete's strategy to get a negative percentage of the black vote. <laughs> South Dakota's governor is defending a new anti-meth campaign which features the tagline, Meth, we're on it. <laughs> which isn't as bad as North Dakota's ad campaign, Cocaine, we cracked it. <laughs> the maker of M&M's announced a new vegan chocolate candy made with a plant-based alternative. So I guess the real news here is that apparently regular M&M's are made with meat. M&M's, we have the meats. <laughs> so dumb. Scientists are working to develop advanced ultra-black materials that are so dark they absorb 99% of all light. Oh, sure, but when I try to develop ultra-black material, I'm booed at the Apollo. <laughs> A new museum has opened in London called the Vagina Museum, which focuses on destigmatizing female anatomy. And if you're planning a trip, remember, it's closed one week a month. <laughs> Three or nothing. I'm Colin. I'm Doug. Michael Che. Good night. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>